बिफोर वी स्टार्ट थिंकिंग अबाउट आर वेस्ट प्रॉब्लम्स हम एनी ऑफ अस हियर हैव एवर वॉन्टेड अ सुपर पावर लाइक दिस पावर टू चेंज थिंग्स एज दे आर एंड मेक अ चेंज द वन सुपर पावर दैट आई हैव रियली वॉन्टेड ऑल माई लाइफ इज टू गेट रेड ऑफ आर वेस्ट प्रॉब्लम्स इन वन गो जस्ट लाइक दैट एंड सो आई सेट आउट ऑन माई जर्नी ओनली टू फाइंड दैट अ सिंगुलर सोल्यूशन जस्ट डज नॉट एग्जिस्ट इंस्टेड there were two very vital learnings one our waste problems are local because waste is generated locally so any measures to tackle waste problems need to be local centric keeping in mind the local people the local environment and the local rules and regulations and two we need to strictly adhere to the hierarchy of the waste management pyramid now the waste management pyramid is based on a simple philosophy if we generate less waste it is easier to manage it it's that simple and that is exactly why we have refuse right at the bottom of the pyramid as our most preferable option recycle is somewhere in the middle while dispose is right at the top of the pyramid as our least preferable option does anybody else see the problem with this i see a major flaw when we set out to execute this waste management pyramid we see certain problems such as refuse reuse and reuse fall entirely within the personal habits so it becomes responsibility of lousy individuals like me and a few of you to manage their own waste and we are famously notorious to put our personal convenience is way above the greater public good so this is not going to happen also at the other end of the pyramid we have treat and dispose which largely form part of the organizational domains so our local governments bodies and institutions are responsible for taking care of this waste and that is why a lot of resources for innovation for research flows at the top of the pyramid while there is scarcely anything trickling down to the bottom of the pyramid where we can actually make a huge impact what needs to be done we need to sow the seeds of change and how do we do that we know it keeping in mind that innovation is not just about science and technology it is also about product management product design business models and much more and i'll illustrate this to you using a few of our projects a few of our attempts at addressing the skewness of this pyramid we bags this was our attempt to bring refuse reduce and reuse out of personal habits and make them a part of the system what we did was this we manufactured in bulk reusable bags these bags were made of recyclable material and capable of mass printing so we sold advertisement space on these bags to offset about 80% of our manufacturing costs the balance 20% was recovered from our registered vendors these registered vendors then could offer these bags to their customers for a small predetermined profit customers could simply purchase these bags from the registered vendors use them and then decide whether they want to retain it for further use or return it for a partial refund now imagine this from the customer's point of view you walk into a supermarket not worrying about carrying a bag from home you can simply go in there ask for a v bag not the polluting plastic bags shop all you want and go home and once you have collected enough bags maybe exchange them for a refund it's that simple registered vendors also earn a small profit on every transaction of v bags that happen incentivizing them not to use plastic bags and the advertisers gain a lot from reaching out to their consumers at a very personal level they are able to reach your homes even your bedrooms at just a fraction of the cost simple innovation but powerful impact we started this project with 10000 v bags and it was a runaway success and we plan to replicate it in more multiple locations and at larger scales 
However, it was not enough just to strengthen the bottom of the pyramid. We also need to take care of the middle of the pyramid, where recycling and recovering of resources happens. Most of the recycling and recovering work is done by our rack pickers or waste collectors. What they do is scavenge our waste dumps for recyclable materials, sell them to the recycling chain and earn a living. This is what they do. And what they need to do for this is this. Bend, pick up waste, and collect. Do this over and over again. If you do that for 20 minutes, that would be a morning workout right there. But they do this all over through the day just to earn a living. So we wanted to come up with something that could help them reduce their efforts and collect a lot more waste. Remember, the more waste they collect, the better they earn and the cleaner they keep our cities. Also, they make a lot of resources go back into the recycling chain. So we came up with this Gandhi Chadi. It is essentially just a stick with a pointed end, and they can now just collect waste in a standing position just like this. So stand, prick, and deliver. It's that easy. The challenge was to innovate to keep it lightweight, cheap, and all the same time making it look stylish and dignified. So even in my suit, I'm still ready to collect waste. Let's go out. <laughs> Business models can also become innovations. Public policy can also become innovations. And that is the way it should be. We propose an innovation wherein our crematoriums and prisons become our waste disposal centers. Why crematoriums and prisons? They have large spaces within the city limits that are yet unused. Why crematoriums and prisons? Because they don't have a holiday. They run all 365 days of the year, just like our waste creation. So what we propose is moving all the fast degrading wet waste, that is waste from our fruits and vegetable markets, our slaughterhouses, and our uh, restaurants into these crematoriums and prisons. So now waste will not be transported to some faraway landfill to be dumped on the ground. They'll, in fact, go to these crematoriums and prisons. What we have there are anaerobic reactors. These reactors are a proven technology, one of the best in the world, but they have scarcely been used impactfully and effectively as much as they could have been. What these reactors do is treat the waste and generate a lot of gas. This gas is great for burning. Now we can use this gas within the crematorium itself to burn some dead bodies or to cook food for the prison inmates. There, that's efficient use of our resources. While doing that, the anaerobic reactors also generate a lot of sludge. And this sludge is excellent manure. We can use this sludge within the city limits itself for our parks and gardens, thus a simple solution to literally keep the city clean and green at the same time. Here's the bottom line to all this. The more efforts we put at the bottom of the pyramid and try and make an impact, the better it is for us to manage waste as it moves towards the top of the pyramid. And that is exactly why I want all of you to do this. The next time you're about to throw a scrap into your dustbin, pause. Take a look at it. Think about whether this piece of scrap even needs to exist. A lot of our packaging material falls into that category. Think whether you could have refused to generate this waste. If not, whether you could reduce the consumption and the generation of this waste. Or whether you could have re reused it. If the answer to any of these questions is a yes, that's a great start already. Go ahead. Do it. If the answer is no, think about where it is placed within our waste management pyramid and what we can do. Who knows? Such consistently profound thinking every time one approaches a dustbin might unlock our collective superpowers.
the superpower to get rid of our waste problems. Thank you.